Hello everyone, I'm Lauren Hodge. I'm a family medicine resident. Today we will discuss our QI project, a point of care educational intervention to improve hand hygiene compliance and enhance contact precautions. Here is an overview of our poster presentation. Enhanced contact precautions are instructions to prevent the spread of infectious diseases that are resistant to routine measures. The focus of our project is C. diff. C. diff is a spore-forming bacteria that is resistant to alcohol-based solutions and requires soap and water to perform adequate hand hygiene. Proper hand hygiene is the most impactful way to prevent healthcare-acquired infections. Our goal is to reduce the number of C. diff infections by educating our healthcare providers on proper hand hygiene techniques. There are many factors that can influence compliance with proper hand hygiene. Studies have shown that even the placement of a sink can influence hand hygiene. With the COVID-19 pandemic, the use of alcohol-based solutions has increased, but this won't be effective against C. diff. We suspect that this shift may impact how healthcare providers perform hand hygiene when managing patients with enhanced contact precautions, and we have developed an intervention to encourage soap and water use. Our SMART goal for this project is to increase rates of appropriate hand hygiene and enhance contact precautions by 50% in six months as measured by direct observation of healthcare providers. Methods A list of patients with a known infection of C. diff was generated by the infection control team daily and shared with our QI team. A member of the team would position themselves in direct view of the door of these patient rooms and recorded all healthcare providers entering and leaving the room, as well as which type of hand hygiene they performed, whether it be none, alcohol-based, or soap and water. Healthcare providers who used inadequate hand hygiene were stopped and educated on the need of soap and water to prevent C. diff transmission. We also had a blue dot sticker placed outside of the patient rooms with the reminder, if you see blue, use soap and water too. Data was collected on enhanced contact precautions hand hygiene compliance from October 22nd through 28th of 2022 and February 16th through 28th of 2023. 149 hand hygiene observations were performed pre-intervention and 62 post or educational intervention. The majority of these observations were on nursing staff, nursing assistants, and physicians. Hand hygiene compliance was defined as the use of alcohol rub or soap and water before entering the patient room, but only soap and water qualified as compliant when leaving the patient room. And here are our results. The green shows the pre-intervention and the yellow shows the post-intervention. Unfortunately, the use of soap and water decreased from 31% to 2%. The use of alcohol rub increased from 28% to 61% and the use of no hand hygiene decreased from 42% to 38%. The table on the right shows the department of which our observations were from. In conclusion, we did not meet our goal to increase rates of appropriate hand hygiene and enhance contact precautions in six months measured by direct observation of hand hygiene. In previous iterations of this project, there was improvement in hand hygiene after educational intervention. We speculate that the seasonal change in compliance may be related to COVID-19 surges regionally. Looking at the three weeks leading up to each session of observation, we see a 65% increase in daily COVID cases between October 2022 and February 2023 in Oakland County. We hypothesize that during and after COVID surges, healthcare providers are more inclined to engage in hand hygiene but favor alcohol-based rubs, which would be appropriate for covid but inadequate for enhanced contact precautions. Based on our findings for future investigations, we would like to survey healthcare providers on knowledge and barriers regarding enhanced contact precautions and keep hospital-specific data on the relationship to COVID-19 cases. Appropriate hand hygiene can mitigate the transmission of preventable infections like C. diff, which is a public health issue, especially when cases are contracted within our hospital systems. Systemic and repetitive educational interventions may help to encourage appropriate hand hygiene and prevent this potentially deadly outcome. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought a focus on preventing spread of COVID-19, but may have had an impact on seed of infections that are not susceptible to the same precautions. Thank you for your time.